Hi guys, welcome back to Morant's Rants, plenty of good information, a little bit of motivation, a whole lot of truth, no financial advice. I just want to give you a rundown on how I feel about the markets, GameStop, where it's headed, and we'll talk Moas, of course. You know, I just made a video about how AMC is going to hit 100K. I hope you guys pay attention to that video because it's really happening in real time even now. Um, but I woke up this morning, there was videos everywhere. Like people were posting, they're like, oh my God, here's the run. We're in the pre-market, it's running, it's running, it's running. Just remember that most stocks and most markets pump Tuesday, Wednesday, you know, pre-market type style, just because they want to get you for that Thursday, Friday rug pull. Uh, anytime, and go look at the stock. With, with AMC, go look at it. And the first and the second, I believe that's a Tuesday and a Wednesday. And that was June, June of 2021, when the stock ran and it went crazy. Those were on a Tuesday and a Wednesday. There's a reason why they do it, just to pump it up, and then they take the rug right from underneath you. And no different today, but it's just a couple of cents. It's diminishing returns, right? It's DR. It's never going to get to where it was before. It just keeps pumping liquidity in and out of that stock. And that's because, uh, well, everyone sold it off and the insiders lied to you and who cares? We're going to talk about GameStop for a second. You know, I've looked at GameStop inside and out and I realize, you know, Elon Musk bet on himself and Elon Musk literally uh, is now the richest man in the world because he did that. But he wasn't the richest man in the world when he was betting on himself. And when you look at somebody like Ryan Cohen, and I know I saw the tweet yesterday with him and Carl Icahn, and they were literally like, hey, this is what, I'm not trying to read into it. He's in a pair of shorts and, oh, he's so tall and they're going to kill the short. I don't even know what the hell these people are saying, these conspiracy theorist people. What I'm going to tell you is this. Ryan Cohen bet on himself a long time ago. And with this investment and however it goes, you will eventually get to the S&P 500. You just will, because the whole markets are all going to come crashing down like they are. They're coming down. And as they come down, GameStop stayed flat. So as they lower the playing field, we can jump up. And we can jump up off of any catalyst. I think that's what people forget, that it takes catalysts to make these stocks move. Stocks just don't move. You don't just wake up one day and it goes, oh, there it is. Right? So like real catalysts, true catalysts, that would be profit, that would be a merger of some kind, an acquisition of some kind, but those can happen over time. Certainly for GameStop because they have no debt, zero debt in front of you. So his plan is there and we'll, we'll wait for it in real time. But I always think of Tesla, just, I don't know how big of a level GameStop is because if you read the DED or some other people's DED, like where they come out with this stuff or they're like, it's been oversold or it's, they're severely short or they, they've been hiding it. Like, I don't get into those conversations. I just read it. And I hear it and I'm like, okay, let me go back to my other, my other side of the table where I'm like, fundamentally, GameStop's doing the right moves to battle the shorts. And Tesla did the same thing. Tesla battled the shorts and with fundamentals, Tesla won. And that's what, be, that's what made Elon Musk the richest man on the planet in the history of humankind. Ryan Cohen is betting on himself and he's going to battle everyone. And I'm right there. My money's with them, right? My money's involved, sure. And then this right here, the energy I can put out in a video every now and then. But I just want to remind people, like, when you actually get there in two to three years from now, and you think it's, like, it's that bad, guys? Like, can I show you something? I'm going to show you guys something, okay? This is crazy. This is Tesla, okay? This is Tesla stock right here on the daily chart. I want to show you, this is the run that you're in right now on Tesla. All the way up. We know... This is like $6,000 a share because they did a five to one split and now a three to one split. This right here is huge, but I want to show you something. As I go to that moment in time in life, okay, I want to show you. I'm going to get there right now. The damn computer does it to me. Remember, no edits, no cuts. So this is the run that, you just, that I just illustrated. Okay, this is how high it ran. Yep, it keeps going. But right there, that's the peak of the stock right there. And this was um, right before January. This is November of 2021, last year, uh, almost a year ago. Over here, was Elon Musk the richest man on the planet? This is 2019, guys. 2019. So from 2019 to 2021, this stock exploded. And that is what made Elon Musk the richest man on the planet. This is where he was banking on himself. This is where Tesla was. And this is where it ended up. This is the run you can have in a two-year span. That's the type of run I think GameStop will have. I think GameStop's going to explode. I think the partnerships are there. I think it's all real. And I think this was, you know what this was. This was Roaring Kitty. This was a, 
a manipulation of the short. This was a sneeze, a, a short squeeze, sure. And yes, it was a managed event, they stopped you. But the board of directors didn't get here until here, on this date. Where they did a share offering, they all got on the board, and then this is their work. This is their work right here, from here to this pump, all the way through here in this time. And I feel that this was laying down the structure and the infrastructure for what's coming. And I think GameStop's that great. So I think that he's betting on himself. I think when it's all said and done, Ryan Cohen will be the richest man in the world. And I think he has a whole bunch of people that are going to be riding with him because it is the right thing to do. Just me. You guys don't have to believe me. You guys don't ever have to think that this is going to happen. Do not invest what I'm doing. I mean, I'm just doing me. But the market just closed right now. GameStop ended 26.65, 2.5% up you know, on 4 million shares traded. 1% of the float essentially was traded today. Nothing. Diamond hands are everywhere. The stock is where it's at. And you're just living it in real time. Give it time. It takes years to get to where I want to be. But I'm going to get there. Everyone else, enjoy your 100K a share over there, AMC. I hear it's going really well. GameStop. Can't stop, won't stop. GameStop. I'm going to see you around, millionaires. Peace.